is a utility here. A utility effectively, we're in the energy conversion business. We take broadly fossil fuels, oil, gas and coal, and convert them into something that you want, heat and light. And the availability of the security supply and the price of our product depends upon the availability, security supply and price of our raw materials. Um, and we believe that effectively the price of those three commodities are linked. If you get an increase in oil, fundamentally you see demand moving into gas and coal, you see the price of those go up. Similarly, uh, from our point of view, we think the demand for coal will go down as we move into a decarbonised economy, and that will move more uh, demand into gas. So fundamentally, we see peak oil being followed within a few years by gas being a distressed price as well. We're responsible for 15% uh, of the UK's gas uh, demand through our power stations and our customer uh, supply business. So it really matters to us. Um, what are we doing? Well, we're actually trying to encourage our customers to use less because that's the key prize for a utility. And over the last three years, the typical domestic customer has used 15% less gas to heat their home. And that's a combination of condensing boilers, better insulation, and better control of their thermostat. 15% reduction over the last three years to average consumption per customer. And that's great news. But actually, you can achieve 50% in your own home. So that 15% is about 30% of people doing something. And as a utility, we believe it is right and proper to encourage our customers to use less, which is why we do things like uh, new tariffs that reward people for reducing consumption. And it's why we're looking at the whole built environment. And we'll be making an announcement next week about what we are doing in that space, because we think houses that will need to be built in the future will be quite different than the housing stock we've had today. Also, there are one and a half million homes in the UK all still heated by oil. So we've got a very direct impact on those, and that is a market sector that has not really been properly served. And we need to address that, because as oil come, comes under distress, we will see that sector, and some of those are the rural poor, that will affect them. We also think as a utility that the issue of electric vehicles will have a profound impact on our market. Maybe not in the next five years, but in the next 15 years. One third of all oil is used in private cars and taxis in the form of petrol or diesel. And, but the average journey that we do in our cars is only seven miles. That's a very, very inefficient use of petrol and of oil. And we can see a growing move towards increased public transport and increased intercity electric vehicles. What impact does that have on a utility? So we believe that we, we um, have to be involved in the debate about the supply of our raw material. We have to be in the debate about the responses to that. We have states in a number of um, clean tech companies, including Jeremy's company, Solar Centre, which is sort of how we got involved in this debate through the relationship with Jeremy. We've got state heat pump companies, in district heating schemes, in small scale hydro, um, in smart metering, in smart grids, because our world is undergoing enormous change. And that enormous change is driven effectively by two key things, decarbonisation, but also this threat to our energy security. And my sense here is that peak oil is a clear and in risk. If we do not think about that risk, it will become a problem. And today is about companies like SSE putting that risk in the shop window and saying to people, saying to the society, saying to politicians, if you do not address this risk, it will be a problem. We can have very intellectual debates about exactly which year that problem will hit us. That's not the debate that I want to have. I want to have a debate. How do we avoid that risk becoming a problem? Thank you.